50 years ago, the nation's largest employer was GM. And the average GM employee could send his kid to college on two weeks' wages. Today in America, with dreams of college and a decent paying job and a secure retirement slipping beyond the reach of so very many, the American dream seems for so many of us to be hanging by a thread. Goldman Sachs is one of the biggest repeat investment banks in America. Recently, the CEO of Goldman Sachs let his employees know that he'd be just fine with either Bush or Clinton. I bet he would. <laughs> well, I've got news for the bullies of Wall Street. The presidency is not a crown to be passed back and forth by you between two royal families. It is a sacred trust to be earned from the American people and exercised on behalf of the people of these United States. The hard truth of our shared reality is this. Unemployment in many cities and many small towns across the United States of America is higher now than it was eight years ago. Conditions of extreme poverty breed conditions of extreme violence. For the story of our country's best days is not found in a history book because this generation of Americans is about to write it. And that is why today, to you and to all who can hear my voice, I declare that I am a candidate for President of the United States, and I am running for you 